If you're just tuning in, you're watching Spotlight. I'm your host, Jane Wynette, and with me now representing Educating Voices is Mark Mitrovich and Chief Terry Lemming. So welcome to the set. Thank you. Thank We're you. excited to have you here because this is something new, not brand new, but something we necessarily haven't been talking about a lot. So, Mark, you're a former superintendent of District 203, so I think this whole Educating Voices mm -hmm. obviously plays into your alley. Tell us a little bit more about what it is. Jane, the purpose of Educating Voices really was to bring a research fact-based approach to this whole debate around medical marijuana, the legalization of marijuana, the related drug issues, which we'll talk a little bit about later. Not to beat people over the head, but to say, here is the research, here are the facts, make it in a decision as it would affect you. Discuss it with your family, with friends and to be uh, a moderating voice in here rather than to get into the hysteria that you're hearing so much about. Okay, so really all about information providing. Absolutely. Okay, based on facts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Chief, I know that you have a uh, lot of experience in this. You've been on the front lines of this whole drug era and, and what we yes. need to do about that. Tell us a little bit about that and then how you're kind of working together with Educating Voices. Well, Educating Voices is a is a group organized by a, by a grandmother here from Naperville by the name of Judy Kramer. And in our organization, we have a lot of different uh, people from all walks of life. We have uh, uh, regular citizens. Uh, Judy herself is a regular citizen. Um, we have psychologists. We have medical doctors, uh, lawyers. We have a uh, former DEA administrator under three U.S. presidents. We have a... Uh, a woman who, uh, who was the deputy director of the Office of National Drug Control Policy on her EVI board. So we have a lot of people who know a lot of stuff about this. Including yourself. Give well, us your background, because well, I think your background is important for people um, to understand. I'm retired from the Illinois State Police. And when I was with the Illinois State Police, I was the uh, drug enforcement, the statewide drug enforcement coordinator from 2004 to 2008. And from 2008 to present, I am currently the president of the Illinois Drug Enforcement Officers Association. Okay. So you've seen there, you've been there, you've been in the trenches, you've also, and it sounds, and I think this is the interesting thing about your board of directors, you have a lot of different constituency bases that are represented on this board. We do. Yeah, so they're really giving you perspectives from the medical field, from the uh, enforcement side of the house, so lots of different areas. Yes. Yeah. And that really, I assume, Mark, really feeds into that fact base that you talked about. Absolutely. There had to be a a group of people who could look at this with a high degree of experience, training, who could bring that in. And really there's a degree of accountability within the group so that no one gets too far afield to say, no, stay with the mission, it's education, it's facts, it's research, and that that in itself will help people a lot in the decisions they have to make. And, and you talked, we talked a little off camera about the fact that it's, it's, you're not going after a specific group. It's, it's for everybody. It's anybody who has any interest. And yes. I know you talked a little bit about a lot of people sort of asking questions. There, there's so much information that is coming to people out there that they're overloaded. Our goal was to say everything that we give you has been researched. It's a fact. It's not an opinion. I'm not trying to convince you one way or the other. What I am trying to do is to say, with all the stuff that you're hearing, here's a kernel of information that we think you can really use purposefully okay. in every way you choose. Okay. Now, where are your main areas of focus <clears throat> for 2017? What, what are the things that you're concerned about for 2017? Well, uh, one of our focuses is marijuana. We want to educate people on marijuana. One of our board members is uh, Andrea Barthwell. She's a physician. She's the one who is the former uh, deputy director of the Office of National Drug Control Policy. And by the way, would make a great drug czar under President Trump. Okay. She's one of our board members. She always tells us to stick to the science. Stick to the science. Whenever we, di we talk about what we're going to do and how we're going to educate people, she says stick to the science. So the science of marijuana. Is it really a drug? Um, that's what you'll learn on our EVI website more about uh, uh, marijuana. But uh, my, my primary, or what I think is the primary focus, uh, or what should be, is a heroin epidemic. Um, it, it plagues uh, Naperville just like any other town in the United States. And that plague is because the supply 
is so readily available right now like we've never seen it before. The purity is so high. This is not the heroin of, of 10 and 20 years ago when you see an emaciated person who looks dirty and is a criminal because the drug forces them into crime a shooting mm -hmm. uh, heroin. That's not the heroin of today. The heroin of today is you can snort it, you can smoke it, you can ingest it, put it on your tongue, but everybody who does heroin eventually resorts to intravenous drug use because it's so addictive. So. Um, the heroin addict of today is not that emaciated, skinny person that boils the heroin and then shoots it in their arm. And we it's, can sort of put them at arm's length because it's not us. It's not mm -hmm. happening in our neighborhood, Absolutely. right? A absolutely. But it really is. I mean, it's happening in every neighborhood. And now it's the boy and girl next door. Yeah. And I would bet your viewers, if you polled your viewers, almost every one of them would know a family affected by heroin. If this was another epidemic where people were dying like they are of heroin, we'd have the people in the white coats coming out, find out what the heck's going on here. And I'm, I'm sorry to say that for some reason it's become like, we've become immune to what's happening, which we shouldn't. These are young people dying and it's the only illicit drug that people are dying of. We don't find people dying of other illicit drugs. It's, it's heroin, especially the new heroin, which is laced with fentanyl. It's killing not just people, it's killing young people, and that's very alarming. I think the other companion to what <clears throat> Chief is talking about is the effort in the Illinois State Legislature to decriminalize much of what is going on around drugs in the state of Illinois. And that is something that people should watch very, very closely in this upcoming session of the legislature. The effort and the ramifications of that, particularly from the standpoint of schools, that the sale of drugs around schools, which has always been an area that provided some protection around a kid, that could go away. And, and lowering the penalties for what goes on here. There may have to be a, a rational discussion about this, but it can't be this wholesale, not well thought out, type of legislation that's coming right now because the implications of that are just too profound for this society right now. Okay. So really, I mean, in a nutshell, what you want to try to do in your organization is put the facts out there, engage people in some dialogue around those facts, and let them make some what, what would likely be smart decisions based on the information yes, that you've provided. Absolutely. If you would like to learn more about how Educating Voices and the work they are doing to help people avoid the dangers of drugs, please visit their website. We're going to take a quick break for a few short messages, but don't go away. We're coming right back with more Spotlight.